Alright, now it's time to learn about video effects and transitions. With each clip, we've got different clips here, that's the title clip, this is a picture clip, another picture clip. You can affect each clip in a couple of different ways. One of the ways that you can affect it is a, called a video effect. And what this does is it actually adds an effect onto the, uh, the clip, in this case of a static picture. So here we've got the video effects. I've gone to video effects, pull down menu. And I'm going to go over to uh, show storyboard. And this is much easier for adding in effects and transitions. To add an effect, all you need to do is drag from the video effects area down on top of the photo. In this case, you'll see the map of the world is quite bright. So I'm actually going to do the user a favor in case they're in a dark room and decrease the brightness so it doesn't hurt their eyes. I'm just going to do that by dragging that down there. Now you're going to see that it's actually decreased in brightness a little bit. You might also want to fade in from black. You can see over here the World Hunger title page is black. Wouldn't it be nice if it faded in? So I'm going to drag that over there. So now I've got a decrease in brightness and a fade in from black. Let's say though, you also want to make it look like it's from an old movie. Rather than uh, looking like a brand new map, why don't we make it look like it's been around for a while. So I'm going to add the film age old. I'm going to drag that down here. And I'm going to bring the, um, the movie scrubber over to the title. I'm just going to hit play and see what it looks like. So there's our title, World Hunger fades in, now you can see it looks like an old movie. Neat, eh? Now, I don't know if you noticed that, but right between this frame and this picture, it was just a sudden drop. So what I'd like to do is add a transition there. In order to do that, I'm going to go over to the, my pull-down menu and select Video Transitions. And here are many different choices that you can choose to uh, put between these different frames. Let's look at this eye. It looks like a big eye opening up. I'm going to bring that down here and see how that looks. So I'm going to select the first clip. Here we have our old movie. And then it looks like an eye opening up. And that's the transition that will be shown between these. There's many different transitions to play with here. Have fun. Um, play around and you can really uh, pick something that's really going to be uh, bring a lot of punch to your movies. Here's another one of my favorites, which is Shatter. Let's see what this looks like. There's the clip, and shatter. Shatters into the new picture. Play around with that and then enjoy it. One more last thing. If you want to see which uh, transitions, or sorry, effects rather, are on a clip, right click on it and go to video effects. And up will pop will this list. These are all the available effects, and these are the ones that are being applied to that picture. If you want to get rid of just one but not the rest of them, all you need to do is select the one you want to get rid of and hit remove, and then it hit OK. Now this frame should not look like an old picture anymore. And there you have it for video effects and transitions. Have fun with that.